Shalom. Welcome to Ancient Manuscripts. This is Rob Van Hoff and with Parashat Mishpatim. We're going to be looking at a 10th century Torah uh, called the Washington Pentateuch from the Museum of the Bible uh, from Exodus 23, just two verses, Exodus 23, 7 and Exodus 23, 8, because we can compare them with a nice ancient manuscript we have from Qumran. And that's what this manuscript looks like. This is a fragment of it, of course. Um, and sadly, it's very uh, damaged and old and faded, let alone that it's highly fragmentary. But as you can see, this is in the Paleo-Hebrew. And thankfully, they've created these nice um, digital uh, images based on a high-res uh, infrared photography. And so that's going to allow us to see those letters a little better and um, be able to actually read what's in the text. So we're going to look here quickly uh, first at Exodus 23.7. It's just the fragment here. And I'm going to use a green marker in hope to uh, highlight the words that we're looking at here. And the first, this is the phrase, Vetzadik. Uh, it says, Vetzadik. Uh, Al Taharog, Vetzadik Al Taharog, and so it's there's a break here because before this it would say Venaki, so the the innocent and the righteous. So Naki is the innocent, Tzadik, if you say Tzadik, the righteous, Al Taharog, you will not kill. And we come in here and we see first the Tzadi, we can see the Dalit a little bit here, the Yod's a little bit easier to see, something like that. Uh, maybe that little line is a little too long, something like that. And then the kof kind of ends like that. Now there would be a vav here, but it's, I cut the picture too soon. Uh, but it, in Hebrew that we know today, in the Aramaic script, block script that I use would be like this. Ve tzadik with the Tiberian vowels on there, Vetzadik. Then we move over and we see, sorry, it zooms out there every once in a while. We see the Aleph and the Lamed. Al, and that's that word Al, which would look like this. And Al means not. Well, not what? Well, that's our next word here, Taharog. There's our Tav. Our hey, our resh, and our gimel. And so in our block Aramaic script, it would look like this. Sorry for my sloppy writing here. Ta, oops, I messed up there. This is the hey. Ta ha, with a half vowel. Ta ha rog. You will, the righteous. So remember, we had Venaki up here back uh, earlier on that line that's broken off. Venaki, Vetzadik, Al Taharog, you will not kill. Then it tells us, Ki, like this, Ki, there's a delegation in that cough. Because then we have a Lamed that we can't see very well but we know it's there because we see the olive. And that's kilo. Kilo. Atzdik. Another olive. Another tzadi. Dalit here, like that. A yod. And our kuf. Lo. Atz. Sorry for my. I'm not happy with my kuf there, something like that. Lo atzdik. Lo atzdik. What? What's the object? Well, we find out here at the end of the verse. That's not a good race. Something like that. That's their ions a little more pointed at the end. This is Resh Shin 
ayin, which the master each will vocalize because it's in pause, rasha, normally be rasha, but at the, at the end in pause, the master each would call it rasha because it's the end of the sentence or the end of the thought. So here we zoom out and we see v'tzadik al taharok ki lo atzdik rasha. So here, the consonantal text that we see from this Hasmonean era manuscript, so this is mid-2nd century BC, like I said, 22 to 2300 years old, matches exactly the Masoretic text in terms of consonant. Now we're going to shift, and we're going to go down and look at the, a small section of, verse, of Exodus 23, verse 8, that starts right here. So let me zoom in here now this is a vav and it's it's hard to see this there's a vav oops let's see here i'll hit that back so here's a vav and here's a vav from the next line it's a little easier to see but basically the vav is looks something like that and you can see that here Now, this is a really awesome phrase, one of my favorite phrases in the Torah, and that's why I was excited to do this one. Ve'atem, that's our Aleph, there's our Tav, and our Mem. Ve'atem. Now, if you remember, Atem means and, and y'all, meaning you, masculine, singular, plural, or all y'all. Ve'atem, and in our Aramaic block script, it would look something like this. Ve, that's our and. Ve, dogesh in the, in the tab there, and then a segel. Ve atem. Here we continue on. Yedatem. There's our yod. Here's our, oops, I don't like that dalit. It's kind of fun to be able to erase it instantaneously. Is there iron? Yeah, I can do a better iron than that. Maybe. Hmm. Tav? Then another nice mem. Yedatem. So in our block script, it would look like this. So the words, you know, when we change it, a script, we're not changing the meanings of the words. We're, it's represented differently, but the letters are the same. And um, yadatem, this is the second person plural in the what we call the perfect zmanavar in modern Hebrew grammar, zmanavar, which is, means past tense, but really yadatem. So yadatem, this word all by itself, means you know, or you have known. But what's we have the atem over here, so it's y'all, and then it's y'all have known. So there's an emphasis on y'all here. Get rid of that. The atem, yedatem, for y'all. Y'all have known. Well, what is it y'all have known? This is what I love in the Torah here. This next word is nun, pei, shin, hey. That's a nice, beautiful hey we can see right there. Gimel, and then a resh. Hey. 